Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. India and China held border talks again today. The 19th round in three years. Don't expect a breakthrough though. But this comes just before the G20 summit in Delhi. Where Xi Jinping has been invited. Will the Chinese president come? And will he clear some of this mess before he does? Well, this has happened in the past. We'll tell you all about it. Meanwhile, China's iron brother Pakistan is celebrating its Independence Day today, but there's little to celebrate really. From bomb attacks to a crippled economy and political chaos, we look at how Pakistan is on the verge of becoming a failed state. In Russia, the ruble has crashed. We'll tell you why. Is Chad GPT going broke? They're spending some $700,000 a day and losing users. In India, student suicides are in focus again. We look at possible solutions to a crisis that needs our urgent attention and intervention. And in Niger, the ousted president could be prosecuted for high treason. All those stories and more coming up. The headlines first. China's defense chief heads to Russia and Belarus. Li Shangfu's six-day visit comes as Beijing and Moscow look to strengthen ties. It's his second visit to, to Russia since he became the defense minister in March. He's yet to officially meet his US counterpart, Lloyd Austin, though. Saudi Arabia appoints its first ever envoy to Palestine. The move comes amid talks to normalize ties with Israel. The US is trying to broker a deal between Riyadh and Israel. The Saudi envoy to Jordan will also serve as the non-resident ambassador of Palestine. Iran's Shiraz Shrine has been attacked yet again, the second time in less than a year. The attacker and eight foreign suspects have been arrested. One person was killed in October last year. There was a mass shooting at the same holy site. France launches a probe into the two bomb scares at the Eiffel Tower. The landmark tower was, was evacuated twice on Saturday. It's a tourist hotspot in Paris, visited by nearly 6 million people last year. And when it comes to football, all roads seem to lead to Riyadh. Neymar is set to become the latest footballer to join the Saudi league. The Brazilian superstar will join Al-Hilal from PSG. The two-year deal is reportedly worth $175 million. 